Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a declutter of all of my lip products. I have a ton of stuff in like my everyday makeup drawer and that's pretty much all I'm reaching for. And this is all the things that are not in my everyday makeup drawer that just has like a couple of like collectible things, some products I used to love that I don't really use anymore. So let's go ahead and start going through everything. I do have quite a few things here on the side that I wanted to talk about first that I'm going to be keeping like the things that I keep out on my desk or in my everyday makeup drawer. So first thing I guess I'll talk about are these two lipsticks here from Merit. These ones I do have an affiliate link with them. It is down below. I did do a sponsored video with them. So these were gifted to me, but these are their lightweight lipsticks. I have the shade La Avenue and Millennial. So La Avenue is probably my favorite one out of the two of them. It's a really pretty like sort of sheer nudish brown type of color. I absolutely love this one. So definitely going to be holding on to that one. And then the other shade that I have is Millennial, which is a little bit more of like a My Lips type of shade. Uh, it's just a little bit lighter and a little bit more pink. Really love the formula of these. They're super, super comfortable and really hydrating. Absolutely love those. So definitely going to keep those ones. Then I have a couple of products here from Tower 28. I have three of these here. Tower 28 uh, started recently sending me PR. However, this one here in the shade Coconut, I actually got in like an Ipsy bag. So I did not... Um, this one wasn't sent to me. This was one that like I technically paid for. So this is what the shade Coconut looks like. It's really pretty, a more pinky shade. Definitely a little bit more pink than what like I typically go for, but I do really like it. Then I have this one in the shade Cashew, which is more of a sort of nude brown type of color. This one they did send to me. Um, not affiliated or anything. It just was in PR, but I really love this one. And then the most recent one that they sent to me is in the shade Pistachio. And that one was actually part of like a little duo kit, this dream team kit that came with the magic hour blush which actually I have right here so this was like the little duo that it came with and yeah that one was sent to me but this is probably my favorite shade out of all of them it's kind of like an in-between of cashew and coconut I just really like this one so yeah that one is pistachio so again I'll be keeping that then I have this one here. This is probably like my most recent lip product. This is from M Cosmetics. This is in the shade Venetian Rose. It's one of their lip cushions. I absolutely love the formula of this. It's so hydrating. I love the payoff of it. It's just really, really good. Absolutely love that one. Definitely going to keep it. Then I also have this lipstick here from Lancome. This is in the shade 274. And this one is really cool. You like press it and then twist it up. This is more of like my going out type of lipstick. It's a little bit darker, a little bit different for me, kind of more like a traditional lipstick, but still very comfortable and very hydrating. So I really like that one. Probably my favorite type of lipstick ever is this from Clinique. This is in the shade Black Honey. It's one of their almost lipsticks. You see it looks very dark, but then once you put it on, it's just kind of like a super sheer wash of color. And I really like that one. It's very similar actually to the Dior like color lip glow thing. This one is in the shade, this one is in the shade 20 Mahogany. And I would say this is pretty much identical to that one there from Clinique. It's just maybe a little bit more brown than the Clinique one, but very similar formulas. And I really love that one. Then I have two lip liners in here. I have this one from Mented. This is the Lala lip pencil. And I really like this one. It's very similar to Charlotte Tilbury, which I have over here. It's just a tiny dot more brown. So I like that one a lot. It's kind of like a nice in-between brown and a pink type of shade. So keeping that one and then I have this one is in Pillow Talk 2 Medium from Charlotte Tilbury and this one is just a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more pink but yeah still really really good. Then from Merit I have two lip oils. This one I actually purchased from them and this one was sent to me. The one that was sent to me was in the shade Bel Air which is just kind of like a clear with a really really subtle gold shimmer like you pretty much can't even tell. It's just a really sheer lip oil and I'll be keeping that one. And then this one is in the shade Sangria, which is really beautiful tinted sort of like wine color. And it goes super well with all my other lip products. Like it goes really nicely over that Clinique one if I want like just a little bit more coverage, but same kind of tone. So I really like those minted lip oils. Then I have this from Tarte. This is their Man Eater Plumping Gloss in the shade Buff. This is a really nice, super like pigmented plumping gloss. I feel like it's kind of hard to find ones that have pigment in them. Don't kind of sit on top of your lips. Like this just sinks in really well, but it's still nice and long lasting and gives you that sort of like stinging plumping sensation. So really love that one. And then last thing I have in my drawer, actually I have two more things, uh, is just this lip balm from Kinship. This is one of their vegan lip jelly masks. It's just like a clear 
balm and then I also have this uh, from Clarins. This is just the Hydra Essential Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm, which is just a regular lip balm and I kind of keep that on my desk just to put on before makeup. And then I did say two more things, but I have two more things and then we'll move on to the rest of the stuff. This is brand new pretty much. It's just this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This came as like a 100 point perk or something when I picked up the Patrick Ta Rose Major Dimension Palette. So I'm going to keep that. It's brand new. And then this is probably my favorite like liquid type of lip balm ever. This is from Huda Beauty. It's the Silk Balm in the shade Blush. And as you can see, I have used up almost the entire thing. I just have a very little amount left. And like even the wand is pretty dry when I take it out. But this is just so smoothing on the lips. And I just really, really love this one. And I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for like a lip balm in this sort of format with like a doe foot. It's really great. Absolutely love this one. So that is everything that I have like in my everyday drawer and sort of like on top of my desk. It's a lot of stuff, but you know, I do go through it and I do use it all. So now let's get into the rest of this stuff. Um, a couple of these things on top are probably ones that I use a little bit more, but once we get down to things like on the bottom, I definitely think we'll be able to get rid of a couple things. I guess we'll start off actually with these Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips. I do think I can probably get rid of like one or two of these just because some of them are old or empty and I just need to throw them away but we have this one here in the shade buttered rum the shade has come off but this used to be my absolute favorite color ever as you can see I was like scraping out of it with my nail which I'll do now just to show you a little bit of like what the color looked like as you can see I have a very similar love for very similar shades of lip products but it was so pretty it was just like a beautiful sort of rosy nude kind of color to me the formula of these tarte maracuja lips are very similar to the m cosmetics although the m cosmetics i'm pretty sure is fragrance free but these have sort of like a coconut scent so if you like coconut i would check these out i think the m cosmetics one are probably a little bit more pigmented whereas these ones definitely go on a bit more sheer and a little bit more glossy i would say as well i'm going to go ahead and put this in my empties then I have this one, which is in the shade Clear, which I am going to keep. This one is fairly new, and it's just a really nice clear lip balm. So this will be kind of like my one or maybe two completely clear things that I'm going to hold on to. I do really like this just to kind of throw on if I don't have any other lip balms around me. I do really like that one, so I will keep that. But I have this one, which is in the shade Holiday Spritz, which was in that same kit that Buttered Rum was in. It also came, I think it was called like Merry Martini, which is like a red with a sparkle. I decluttered that one last time, I believe. This one I like. It's just a little bit too light for me. And I think that's why I don't reach for it. Like, as you can see, I used up almost all of Buttered Rum. And this is very similar. It's just a little bit lighter. So I don't go for it. And it is pretty old. So I think I'm just going to declutter that. And then I have this, which has like mascara on it. This is a mini in the shade Strawberry, which I think this one I may keep because I don't really have anything sort of this pretty like red-ish kind of color. And I think that that would be fun for like spring and summertime. So I will keep that one. Then I have a couple of products here from ColourPop. Um, I think what I'm going to do is hold on to this one here, which was from the Mandalorian collection. This is in the shade Din Djarin. I have this in my bag normally. I just put it in here just to kind of like have it as be part of my collection. This one I normally just keep in my bag. It's a really nice like lip oil and it's a very pretty kind of sheer but it's just nice and hydrating so i like to keep that in my bag so i will keep that one um but these two i think i'm going to get rid of these ones are a little bit of a more like sticky type of formula this is in the shade hermy which is from like the rudolph collection i think it's like a yeah you can see it's just very kind of like sticky and a little bit thick and it has that shimmer in it which i don't love so I'm going to declutter that. And then I also have this one in the shade Misfit Elephant, which is pretty. But again, the glitter, I just don't really love glitter in lip products. So yeah. And again, like super thick and kind of goopy. So I'm just going to pass this one on. Then I have this here from Seraphine Botanicals. This is one of their Berry and Juice lip gels. I don't need this if I'm going to be honest, but I do really like it. It's just a nice like super sheer lip product and it's like yeah it's pretty much like a gel it feels really cool on the lips and i don't know really love it i'm definitely gonna hold on to this it also smells really really good so i'm gonna keep that one for now then i have a couple of fenty products here let's see i know i have another one. Oh yeah okay so i have these three of like the shimmery ones this one is in the shade confetti which is like a 
clear whitish that has like a blue reflect to it it's just really not for me it's also pretty old i got this in like a little holiday set a while back and then another one that was in the holiday set was this in the shade hot chocolate which i do like but i feel like in these fenty ones i can feel like the glitter in them when i rub my lips together so i just don't love it and that's also old so i'm gonna get rid of it then I have this, which is in the shade Pink Dragonfly. I don't mind this one as much. It does have that shimmer in it, but it's fairly new to me, so I don't really want to get rid of it yet. Um, and it is kind of fun, a little bit more pink than some of my other ones. So I'll keep Pink Dragonfly. Then this one I actually really like. This is one of their cream formulas, and it doesn't have as strong as a scent as some of the other ones. This one's in the shade Fenty Glow, and I put this on earlier because I completely forgot that I had it. And I really like it. It's a very beautiful shade. So definitely going to hold on to that one. And then I'm just going to wipe off my hand and I'll be right back. Yeah, I think next thing I'll sort of talk about, oh, this also is not a lip product. This is a little mini glow recipe thing I got in my Ipsy bag this month, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but I think next thing we will talk about are these like Animal Crossing lip, lip crayons because I am going to be keeping them. It's not that like I use them all the time. It is just kind of like you know, collector's purposes, which I'm going to try to not do. And I'm going to try to like let go of things, even if they are like super cute or they were a gift or something like that. But these I am going to keep. One that I do really, 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 really like actually is the coconut one. This one I think is very similar to that Dior one. This is in the shade Mahogany. But I think once they're built up, like, I don't know, they're pretty similar to me. So yeah, really like that one. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping these Animal Crossing ones. Then I have a couple of lip liners over here. I have, yeah, I think maybe that's it. One more. Okay, I have these ones here. I have two from St. Lux. This one is in the shade Secret Admirer, which seems to be more of a brown kind of color. So that's that one. And then I have this one, which is in the shade Love Letter, which I think this one maybe I'll declutter because it seems kind of similar to the like Charlotte Tilbury one and the Mented one that I kept. So I'm gonna declutter Love Letter. And then I have another brown one. This is the Elf Nobella Noir collection. It doesn't have a shade name. I think it was just like probably the only one in there. And yeah, just another brown. So I guess since this one is a lot older and obviously you can't get it anymore, and this one I just got recently, I'm going to keep the St. Lux and get rid of the Elf. And then I also have this one here from Kylie. This is from like my original Kylie lip kit that my boyfriend bought for me in probably like 2017 or 2018. This is in the shade Posey K. Honestly, like, it's still kind of good. Like, it's still really nice and creamy, and I just, I've, this is stupid, but I, I'm gonna keep that one. I'm also, and I'm gonna make another dumb decision, and I'm gonna keep this liquid lipstick also in Posey K. Let me see if it even smells good anymore. Yeah, I mean, this still smells really good, so I probably won't use it, but it's not bad. So, you know, it won't hurt to keep it in my collection. And again, this this one, when it's like a gift from my boyfriend, I feel like I can't get rid of it. I don't know why. But I have this one here from Stila. This is in the shade Transparency. This is just a completely clear gloss. Since I'm keeping the one from Tarte, I am just going to get rid of this one. It's nice, but I just, you know, don't need it. Then I have this here from ColourPop. This is one of their lippy sticks in the shade Soft Side. I'm pretty sure this is just like a true brown. I think I got this in a mystery box video and I tried it on, but it's just not, I don't know, like it looked fine, but I just really would never reach for it. So I'm going to declutter that. Then this one, again, you guys are going to kill me. I wore this on my prom day. This is one of the Revlon Ultra HD matte lip colors in the shade Embrace. I just need to like find a different place to keep this kind of stuff that's like nostalgic to me, like my old makeup, but I am going to keep that one for now. Then I have this lip balm here from Glossier. This is one of their Wild Fig Balm.coms. This is not very old. It was in my Project Pan a while back, as you can tell, um, which kind of like scarred me from using it, but I really do need to use it up. Maybe I will like put this in the car or something, but I am going to keep that one because it's not super old. Oh, I have another little Clinique almost lipstick. This one is like pretty new. I think maybe I only used it a couple times and then I got the full size. So I am going to keep this just since that's like one of my absolute favorite lip products. Oh, then I have this here from Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler lip plumping thing. This one is good. I'm just trying to think, though, if I even need it, because, I don't know, like, now I have the Too Faced one. I don't know. Let me put a little on. 
and see how it works. If it's not as good as the Too Faced one, then maybe I'll get rid of it. I just put a little bit on. I'm gonna leave this on the side and we'll come back to that in like a couple of minutes. This one though, I think I can get rid of. This is uh, Clinique. I don't even know if this is an almost lipstick. It's in the shade Pink Honey. Yeah, it's a Pink Honey almost lipstick. But I don't like this one. It's really not the same formula at all as the other one. Like it is, but I don't know. I just, I don't love the shade of it. So I'm going to declutter that. Then I have this from Becca, I think. This is the Barbie Ferreria, Ferreira collaboration that they did a while back in the shade of Foiled. You can't even get this anymore. And yeah, it's very sticky and kind of goopy. So I'm just going to declutter it. I think I have another one from the same collection. This one is in the shade of Facet. And yeah, I think this one I'm also going to get rid of. This one is like a purple with a blue iridescence to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one as well. Then I have a couple of MAC lipsticks, which I don't really know how many of these are still good. But it looks like I have four, four of them for now. This one is in the shade Brave. This is probably like one of my first ones that I ever got. It's kind of like a pinky sort of shade. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna come back to that one. Then I have this one in the shade Aloof, which is a luster. Ooh, okay. That does not look good. I think that this one went bad, which is kind of weird because it's not that old, but it's like fuzzy and has like really weird things on it. So I'm just going to throw that one away then i have this one which is in the shade ladybug which is kind of like a sheer red and i don't think i have any other reds so you know i'll hold on to this one just to have a red in my collection uh then i have this little mini one which is in the shade velvet teddy which is really pretty and we'll see how this one swatches out this is like one of my you know like go-to type of shades super nice i think i'm going to get rid of brave and i'm going to keep velvet teddy then I also have this here from ColourPop. This is in the shade Hades. It's one of their cream ones. And this is actually really similar to this one here from Kylie. They're even in like the same packaging and the shades are super similar. I guess Kylie one is maybe a little bit lighter, but this is the ColourPop one. We'll do, I'm running out of space. That's the ColourPop one. It's actually kind of pretty. And I feel like I want to keep it because I don't really have anything like that. But this Kylie Jenner one in the shade August, I think this one... I think I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, that one is like super matte also. So I'm gonna get rid of that kind of one. Then I have this from ooh, Urban Decay. This is in the shade Backtalk, which, ooh, I don't know if I've ever used this before. See, that's pretty, ooh. More of a cool tone sort of pink. I didn't keep Brave, so maybe I'll keep Backtalk. I don't know. I'll have to come back to that one because I don't know if I actually need that, but I'll go through everything I'm keeping at the end and see if I can get rid of anything else. Uh, then I have this here from Patrick Ta. This is in the shade She's Expensive. I think it's just one of the lip glosses. It's like a clear with a golden shift to it. I'm just going to get rid of this one. Do not need it. Let me go ahead and clear off my hand and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think coming back to this Lawless one, it's fine. It's If I'm going to wear a plumping thing, I want it to like be plumping, so I'd probably just go for the Too Faced one. And this one, there's not a lot of product left, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I have a couple of lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury here. I have three of them. So this one is in the shade Very Victoria, which is super pretty. I really love this shade, and I love the formula of these lipsticks as well. I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. Then I have this one in the shade Walk of No Shame, which is a little bit of a nice sort of darker kind of tone. I will keep that. And then I also have this one in the shade Pillow Talk, which, you know, is just the classic shade. It's very similar to Very Victoria. I would say just maybe a little bit more pink. Um, but yeah, gonna keep that. I'm coming back to this Urban Decay one to see how it compares. This feels really creamy. I don't know. I think I just put this over like a little bit of what I had on now. It's kind of pretty. All right, I'm gonna keep it. I know I, I, I almost talked myself out of it, but I think it's different enough from these uh, that I can justify keeping it. And the formula seems really nice. It's like kind of glossy. All right, anyway, onto this one. I have this here from Honey Jarrett. It's a lip sleeping mask in Lemon Honey. I think I got this in an Ipsy a while back. I never used it. I'm just going to get rid of it. Then I also have this from another Ipsy. It's the Dear Beach Glassy Lip Oil. Never used that. I'm gonna get rid of it. 
Oh, I have another one of these from the Rudolph Red Nose Reindeer collection. This is in the shade Dolly, which I think, yeah, it's that same kind of thick formula. I'm just going to declutter that. Uh, one that I'm going to keep is this one from Tart Sugar Rush. It's in the shade Cherry Slush. Really like this one. I've actually used up quite a lot of it. It's just like a nice sort of thicker, like really, really lightly tinted gloss. So I'm going to hold on to that. Then I have this from the Mandalorian collection. This is in the shade Grogu, which I want to keep it it's so bad. I don't know. It's just like a clear with like doesn't really do anything, but it's just so cute. And I think I have to keep it. I'm going to keep it. And it's not, it's a lip oil formula. It's not like the sticky gloss and it, it looks like it has shimmer in it, but on your hand, really, you cannot see it at all. I'm going to keep it. Uh, and then I have this from Milk Makeup. This is their Electric Glossy Lip Plumper, which I think is just in a, yeah, it's just a clear, actually. I didn't even know that I had this, but again, since I have the Too Faced one and I know that I like it, I'm just going to get rid of the Milk Makeup. Oh, then I have this from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Bare Nude Sparkle. I don't even want to swatch this because it's a disaster to get off. I know I'm decluttering that. It's so bad. I, like, hate that one. Um, sorry that there's, like, so much stuff and dust over here. Um, but I do have another one from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade Bare Melon, which I think is almost empty. Yeah, this one's almost empty. I think I used up, like, Bare Nude. It was, like, the other one that came in this set. It's pretty, but I think I just have other ones that I'm going to reach for over it. Like, it's not bad, and I definitely just, like, could easily use that up, but I don't know. I'm just going to declutter it. Then I have this from NYX. This is their Juice Gloss in the shade Pomegranate Clout. I actually really like this. I brought this with me on my trip to Nashville a couple of weeks ago for spring break, and it was really nice. It was, like, just had a little wash of color and was super hydrating and smelled good, so I'm gonna keep that. Then I have this Clarins Lip Oil. This is in the shade Candy. I'm not gonna swatch it just because I know it's gonna stain my hand, like, really badly. It's kind of like a hot pink, like, pH adjusting one. I wore this quite a bit, but I think now it's just not really, like, in my tastes anymore. It smells really good. I'm pretty sure they redid the packaging because this leaks, like, crazy all over everything. Yeah, I didn't think that I was gonna do this, but I think I'm just gonna declutter that. Then I have this from Bare Minerals. This is in the shade Sincerity. It's one of their mineralist lip gloss balms. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It has a little bit of, like, glitter in it, and I feel like when I rub my lips together... I can kind of feel it, and I also think it's pretty similar to that Fenty cream gloss that I kept, so I'm going to declutter that. Then I have this NARS. I thought I had two of these. Maybe I decluttered one a while back. This is in the shade Laguna. It's like one of the lip, little mini lip balm things. Um, it's not bad. It's a little bit more brown than some of my other products, so I think maybe I'll keep it just because it's different. And I don't really have anything brown other than like a lip liner, so yeah, I'll keep that one. Then I have this little Clinique thing. Also, I can tell that the Clarins thing like leaked on here, unless the packaging on this is leaking, but I don't really know. Um, anyway, this is in the shade Bear Pop, which is pretty cute. A little bit pinky. I just don't think I'm gonna use it, so I'm going to declutter that. My hands are all sticky now. Then I have this from REM Beauty. This is one of like their lip stain markers. This dried out like after the first time I used it. So I'm just going to put this in my empties. Not very good and I don't really recommend that to be honest. Then I have this from ColourPop. This is the Frozen Free Spirit lip gloss. I actually really like this one. It has like the brush is like a little actual brush, which is really fun. And I like how this smells. Again, it's more of a nude kind of color. So I think I'm going to hold on to that one. Then I have this lippy stick. This one is in the shade Poison, which is like a super dark red, completely unlike anything else that I have. And because of that, I think I'm going to keep it. I think that could be fun. Then I have this here from Kaja. Oh yeah, you can see something. I think that Clinique, the Clarence thing leaked on here. Let me see if I could like wipe it down. Ooh, it even like stained the packaging, which is kind of weird, but this is the Air Heart lipstick in the shade Ride or Die. I like the shade. It's just kind of looks like lipstick on my lips. Like it just is a little bit too heavy, so I'm just going to declutter that. Then I have this liquid lipstick here from ColourPop. This one is in the shade November. 
and this is super super old as you can see like there's not even anything on the packaging anymore i just kept this for a really long time because my birthday is in november and i was like oh it's november and it finally does not smell good so the chemicals so i am just going to throw that one away then i have two things left this is from complex culture i think this is just like yeah this is just a plain lip balm um i'm just going to declutter that and then i have this here from pat mcgrath this is in the shade flesh six which is one of their mini lust glosses let's see Ooh, very thick Ooh, very pretty though i kind of like that it has like a really nice pigment to it that could be pretty okay i'm gonna keep that oh, and look what is sneaky over here i do have another one of these nars lip balms and i think this is the one that i've actually been using um i think i did just swatch <laughs> this other one but i don't like love it enough to keep two so maybe i don't know I'll keep this one, I guess, and I'll get rid of the other one. I'll see if my mom maybe wants this one, because this one is, like, they're both pretty new. Like, they're really not that much older than each other. So I'll keep this one, and then I'll give this other one to my mom. So I will declutter the other one. Now, let me wipe this out, and then we'll go ahead and sort of, like, count in how many things we kept. Okay, you know, not the best clean in the world. A lot of it is just kind of like staining and scuff marks and stuff. So this is as good as it's going to get. Let me go ahead. I'll put these in and I'll sort of count them as I put them back. Do a little ASMR moment. Oh, I have 28 things in here. We had 28 go back into the box. And then I also forgot about all of these Animal Crossing ones. So we have 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we're up to 34. Then we have this one is 35 and the other one is 36. All right, so in total, if I'm counting correctly, I believe we have 51 lip products total. So let me go ahead and put all of these away and we will count up how much stuff I'm getting rid of. So everything in here is what I'm getting rid of. So let me go ahead and count this out and I will let you know. And I am getting rid of 29 things. I didn't realize how much of like, like I have like, you know, three Tower 28s, which I really like. And I have two Merits and all of those Animal Crossing ones. And I definitely like did not do a declutter that long ago where I kept all of this stuff, which is kind of surprising. But I am finally getting rid of a couple of old things. So I don't know. I just feel really good about this declutter. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.